Hello. So today I want to talk about a little trick <laughs> to reducing burnout during the holidays. So we are, you know, about a month out from the holidays and maybe you're already starting to feel the preparation or whatever it is that you're feeling. Um, but something that I notice and especially when I talk to my members of the Dream Mystics community or, you know, in my groups that as the holidays come, sometimes we feel more burnt out because there's so much that we want to achieve before the end of the year. And then sometimes if depending what the final family dynamics are with, you know, your family that usually during the holidays, everybody gets together and there may be like a rush of um, negative energy, depending who you're around. Um, this is a time where, you know, it's fall, winter, we are tuning inward naturally. However, there is this uh, more socializing with the events, uh, holidays, vacations, things like that. And when you are around different dynamics of people, sometimes, especially if you are an empath, you may be absorbing the energy of others and you may not even know how to create that shield so that the energy of others doesn't affect you, um, especially if you surround yourself with people who may be energy vampires, those people that when they walk into a room, they automatically drain you, or maybe there is more negativity or drama gossip around certain people and you are around them a lot that can really be draining and cause that burnout, um, especially during the holidays is what I find. But of course, you can use this at any point in the year, uh, just that the holidays is what's coming up. So that's what's fresher in my members' minds, as well as the interactions that I've been having with clients. So uh, something that I also noticed ever since moving back from my hometown is that I always felt the rush of like going to the store to buy gifts and prepare for my travels when I used to live away from my hometown. And when I moved back, I noticed I was still feeling that uh, anxiety when I was out and about going to the stores or even not going to the stores, but going to like my parents' house or something like a normal day, I would still feel that moody energy from other people that are rushing um, during rush hour or getting out of work that you can just sense that they are rushing to get things ready for the holidays. And that was affecting me, even though, and this is at the very beginning of my journey, even though I didn't have anything to stress, there's online shopping. So I was highly prepared and didn't have to travel, but it was still affecting me. So uh, let me know if you feel extra sensitive during the holidays because of interactions with others or um, just the need to finish things before the end of the year or before going on vacation or things like that. So just let me know. I want to see how everybody is feeling um, now that we are catching it ahead of time, right? There's still, you know, about a month and a half before the full force <laughs> of the holidays. But that's why I wanted to talk about it now, because if you prepare yourself ahead of time, then you won't feel it as bad. You won't allow it to um, spiral into something more chaotic and really affect your mental health the more that we neglect our self-care and our practice. Uh, something else that um, I've noticed with clients is that as you're around, like the example that comes a lot is family dynamics, just because that's what I've heard a lot of, but this can show up as more nightmares as your dreams are revisiting childhood traumas um, or processing through things as you are interacting with people. And it could be family, friends, or just whatever dynamic you're around, um, or maybe your own stresses, but they'll show up as more nightmares during this time. And like I mentioned, stress levels heighten as well as depression and just feeling sad and like down on down. Um, hitting more of those negative vibrations. So this is a beautiful opportunity to notice what your dreams are telling you, what you're processing. Um, and that way you can immediately work on what is arising for you before it turns into full blown burnout, or in, in some occasions, you know, just completely shutting down because it's too much to handle, or it feels like too much to handle in that moment. So we kind of have this, um, 
we feel like we have this need of continuing to go, 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 even when our body, our mind, and our emotions are telling us to, hey, let's let's slow down, let's unwind, and let's unpack what's coming up. So the trick would be to pay attention to your dreams here so that you can see these suppressed emotions, especially if you notice that they're coming up to the light a lot more during the holidays, during the time where nature is inviting us to look within that's what nature is doing as you see the trees withering away and just the cold temperatures inviting us to stay indoors um the lack of sun that is that vitality and that external uh energy is you know it's not out <laughs> as much and we have that need to to look within so you can look within even further with those dreams especially if you've already are starting to feel that um, those dynamics come up, those suppressed emotions come up, whatever you associate the holidays with or with the people that you connect with or don't connect with. Maybe, um, you know, if however it is that you're spending the holidays, I notice that it tends to bring some type of emotion for people. Um, and even if they're good emotions, right, we can still process that in the dreams and prepare us for that new year. But the burnout is what I've heard a lot of. So Definitely, I invite you to focus more on your dreams. If you need help with that, I definitely um, have resources for you. And if you need extra help figuring out what your dreams are trying to tell you to process during these times, this is something that we do in my Dream Mystics membership. Every month, we have a dream circle where I help you understand your dreams. And you are able to submit your dreams anonymously, uh, of course, if it's something that you don't want to discuss publicly. Um, but I love these dream circles. We connect with each other with like minded people. Usually somebody has uh, similar types of dreams or similar experiences. So I think it's really nice to connect all together and share these experiences in a safe space. And, um, and also, if you just have a dream question, you can always post it in our community. And I will address it even if it's not the, the actual, um, dream circle for those who can't make it live, or if it just happens and uh, you don't want to wait until the next one. So you can definitely check that out at community.thedreamingyogi.org and start noticing, start tracking and writing down the dreams that you're having or the feelings that come up when you wake up. Anything that you remember will be key to helping you get this head on first before it spirals into that burnout. All right. So I hope you, I hope this was helpful and you found some value in it, let me know in the comments what you thought. And I will talk to you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.